Before we start today's video, I just want to say something. Thank you. Thank you to all of my new subscribers and my new fans on both of my Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube channel. Thank you so much for following me. I really appreciate your support. You guys leave such nice and kind comments. I know I'm not the most wholesome and nurturing and sweet and kind YouTuber in the world. Those of you who are from DCG know this very, very well. But I realized the other day I went to go make a community post and be like, hey, hey guys, thanks for subscribing to my channel. I hope y'all enjoy the future videos coming up. And then I realized that YouTube doesn't allow you to do that until you hit a thousand subscribers. What are channels supposed to do until they hit a thousand subscribers? Like, man, come on, you. YouTube, people can't even get started on your platform. But what I really wanted to say was you guys watching this video and you guys watching this channel right now are one of the first of what I hope to be many, many subscribers and fans of this channel. Someday in the future, we're gonna look back on this and you're gonna be like, I was there. I was one of the first 31. I got to watch Shan sound like a jerk in low HD, which isn't, what's low HD? Um, what's the opposite of HD? Standard definition? What's the opposite of low? You know what? Forget that. So today's video is all about the Scrawler box in January. Although, because I'm in the United States, I got it in February. I recorded it back in February, but today's date is March 22nd. So I'm pretty late getting this out. As a matter of fact, this box is the February box, which I still haven't even done yet. So the quality's a little weird, and you may hear me mention something about, oh, my 12 subscribers. Well, you know what? I have 31 now. I have double, I'm more than, I, I, I'm almost tripled in size from then, and it's all because of you guys. So again, thank you guys so much. Enough of me blabbing about, about my boring YouTube life. Let's get to what this video is about, and let's open this freaking scrawler box. Let's go make some art. Boom. Today is probably the most exciting day I've had in 2021. I finally got my very first Scrawler box. I have been wanting these ever since I started watching art YouTubers back in April after I got laid off and I watched them for hours on end just opening these awesome art loot boxes. So I finally decided to treat myself to my very first Scrawler box. If you guys don't know what this is, it's an art loot box sent to you monthly. It has a whole bunch of art supplies in there and a challenge for you to make something with only the supplies in this box. I have no idea what's in this box. I have avoided all spoilers on YouTube and on Instagram. I have no clue what's in this box. And that's why I'm kind of rushing this intro because I really want to see what's in it. This is from the UK. So it, I may be one of the last people to get this. Oh, quick note about this box though. This is the January 2021 box, but it's actually February 7th, the day I'm recording this. So a little late, not because of it traveling international. This is actually pretty quick. They were delayed because they're waiting on something to sh before they ship the box out. Something, something, you know, shipping delays, sh something, something, something. So here we are. Uh, they did let us know before they shipped it that it does not have the scrawler box sticker, which I'm extremely disappointed about because I really wanted that sticker. I wanted to start collecting them because I plan on getting this every month, but... <sighs> okay, whatever, let's open it up. Oh, jeez. Oh, gee. And let's see what's inside. All right. I like it already. So we got here the art supplies, which are, this paper is actually kind of destroyed. So I'm going to have to hold it like this and pull it off camera. So there's no spoilers. We got the scrawler zine, January, 2021. And if I remember right from watching all those YouTube videos, on the inside, there's like, you know, how to use the, the art supplies and stuff. Oh, I saw it already. Oh, 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 oh. Spoilers, we're gonna look at that here in a minute. And they give you a print for the featured artist. This is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Check this out. It's like, um, oh my gosh, guys, what do you call this pattern? You, you see it on like bandanas a lot. Paisley? Is that what it's called? And on the back, it is by Chris Lambert. And it goes into his little biography here of who he is, where he's from. And if you guys wanna see more of his art, there's his Instagram and Twitter. We have here, it looks like paper. Let's get this out of the way. I am so stoked right now. So I think this is the paper. Every scrawler box gives you some kind of surface to work on, unless it doesn't, but I think most of them do. And this looks like some kind of, definitely some kind of, it's obviously paper. I'm not very smart when it comes to art supplies, guys. I'm not like those professional art YouTubers who know like, oh, this is an A4 through 120 gram per, per, per inch Bristol board. I just, Maybe someday I'll get that smart, but today's not the day. This looks like paper, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing some, 
very, very silky smooth paper. So let's, uh, we'll deal with that. I'm sure the zine tells you what that is. But let's look in the meat and potatoes here, guys. Let's see what we got. Oh man, I like it already. Okay, so we got here the scroller box. Uh, this is the actual, um, where it tells you what's inside the box. It goes into each art supply. And it also has the challenge. We're gonna look at that here in a minute. Man, how do YouTubers do this where it makes their desk look so nice? Cause I can't do it. First, let's get into the, the most important part of this box, guys, are the candy. Scroller box always sends you a snack with every box. And we got two, cause I think their last box in December didn't have the snack. And this is from the UK, so I actually don't know what these are. These are new to me. Swizzles New Refreshers, a original lemon flavor. It's very... Uh, kind of... Uh, uh, it's kind of reminds me of like Laffy Taffy or something. We'll check that out later. And we got ourselves a Choco Mint Praline. Guys, I love chocolate mint. If you know me at all, you know this is my jam. I'm going to eat that later. But not before smelling it. It smells like, it smells like pencils. <laughs> so the first thing we have in our box is this cool looking pencil. We got a, a black wing for scrawler box. It has a little scrawler box logo on there. It is a, uh, well, obviously it is a pencil. I, it doesn't say what kind of pencil it is. And I, I'll be honest with you guys. I seriously don't care what kind of pencil this is, but it has a cool looking eraser at the end, which is super neat. And yeah, it is an unsharpened pencil. Which is good, guys. You never have enough pencils. I love the design on it. It's blue and it has the, the scribbles on it. So I think this pencil was made especially for Scrawler Box, which is super cool. Next up, we have Zig Millennium 03. Probably a fine liner, because it says 03 at the end. I've never actually owned anything from Zig before. I think they're made by Kuritake. Yeah, Kuritake. Um, this is pure black, it says, and it's an 03. So it is probably, yep, that's a fine liner, all right. That's cool, you can never have enough fine liners. An 03 is a really good size. It's not too small and it's thinner than the 05, which is pretty popular, so. So far, I'm seeing that we're gonna be inking something, which thank God, because I was so scared I was gonna get something like paint, you know, and well, actually, I haven't actually looked at the rest of the box yet, so let's, let's not get too excited. And the last three items in here, we have the infamous Tombow ABT Pro alcohol-based brush pens. These are so cool, and I've seen them on Instagram like nonstop. I follow a lot of those Tombow creative designer people, and they use these. Actually, I no, they, they actually use the water ones a lot more. I don't really see them using these a lot. I can't explain how happy I am right now. I was so scared this box was gonna be something that I had no idea what to do with. First scroller box video was gonna be a complete disaster, and here we are, we have alcohol markers and pen. This is me! This is all I do! <laughs> I'm so happy right now. These are alcohol-based markers. They're just super long, super skinny. It comes with a chisel and a brush. We see the brush tip is nice and chunky and thick. And we got the chisel tip, which is also pretty thick. So definitely not gonna do a lot of thin, you know, tiny little line work with this stuff. It doesn't actually say on them what they are, but they do have numbers PN75, P312, and P528. Those mean absolutely nothing to me because I don't know anything about Tombow or what kind of colors they have. So maybe this paper here will enlighten us some more. Let's read that real quick. Professional quality markers are alcohol-based with two versatile tips. Next we have the Blackwing X Scrawler Box Special Edition Pencil. Very limited edition pencil is a special scrawler box and Blackwing collaboration and cannot be found anywhere else except in this box. You hear that pencil? You're special. Encased in a California incense cedar barrel? It does smell pretty good. That's actually kind of nice. That's what that candy smelled like for sure. Kuritake Millennium 03 Black Fine Liner. Ideal for all your fine liner needs. Easy writing and sketching pen is an essential instrument for all of your doodle creations. Claire Fontaine A5 Comic Book. This A5 comic book contains 12 sheets of premium acid free, exceptionally smooth and high quality paper. You can use both sides of these paper sheets as they will not bleed through making the sketchbook the perfect pairing with alcohol based markers. Okay. Okay, a lot of people say their papers bleed proof, but mm, 
Okay, Paisley Patterns. See, I was right, it was called Paisley. That's cool. So Scholar Challenge is Paisley Patterns. So that's what it's making us do here, guys. I think we have to make something kind of like this, but we're not gonna copy this dude's artwork because that's, that's, that's a jerk move. Don't copy people's stuff, guys. But you can be inspired. We're inspired by this. So what are we gonna do? I'm not really one on drawing patterns. You guys know me, I like drawing cute little dragons and stuff. It's kind of like my thing, I guess. Maybe we can incorporate my style with his style and these paisleys. And we also have this comic book, which is super cool. I mean, we could technically like make ourselves a little comic, you know? But I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't really have time. And I also wanna test the paper and see if it's really bleed proof or not. We're gonna use our, our last page to test it. So let's give that a try. So uh, yeah, I meant to go into the scrawler zine a little bit. It kind of goes into the featured artist here. He's eating a pencil, which is pretty cool. I, I respect this man. And then it goes into the actual contents and it looks very pretty. It says, yes, two treats. Last month's treat was missing, so we're making a double treats for January. And there's a sticker we would have gotten, guys. Oh, man, that is such a cool looking sticker. Ugh, I wonder if they'll still send it to us next month. I really hope they do, because I kind of want to keep it. Whoa, I already touched the paper. Cool. Yep, that's, uh, that's definitely alcohol-based. It feels really good. Don't get me wrong. Okay, so you can get really fine details with the chisel. That's pretty good. But here's the question, guys. It says bleed proof. Is it really bleed? Oh my god, it is. What? <laughs> it's bleed proof. Okay, stress test time. These blend? Are we able to blend with these markers? Let's see. It's getting absorbed really quick. I'm not sure if I can actually blend. I don't think I can blend these. Not on this paper, anyway. Or can I? All right, I have thoroughly saturated the crap out of this paper. Like, it is wet. So, Oh my god! Okay, this is awesome, guys. I cannot believe this is actually bleed-proof paper. This is beyond words. I mean, I'm looking at it, like, close up. I, I don't see... Hang on a second. I, I don't... I, I'm not believing this. Let's try Copic real quick. This paper's magic. Magic paper, guys. I don't even care about the challenge anymore. I'm just so happy. This magic paper. I need to buy some of this stuff. Who's it by again? That's a very thin fine liner for an O3. Uh, it's a pen, man. I, I don't know what to tell you. It feels good, though. I heard you're supposed to move the sharpener, not the pencil, and I, can't, I just can't do it, man. It, it, it hurts me. It hurts me to try. I can't believe this thing's made out of what? Cedar? That's so cool. It smells really good. Never had a... Uh, Pencil, it smelled good. That's interesting. I mean, I don't even know why I'm swatching a pencil. It's it's just a pencil, you know? But it's super smooth. So this one's scroller box is relatively simple. We got alcohol markers and we got a fine liner and we got a pencil and we got some bleed proof paper. The possibilities are endless and we got many pages to work with. And like I said, bleed proof. I still, I, I, I still don't believe it. I gotta look at it again, I'll believe it. Oh my God, it's so amazing. And let's see what we can, uh, well, we can manage. Maybe we'll do the Paisleys, and then maybe after that we'll do something more fun, you know? Let's see if we can fill up this entire book with some, uh, with some art. What the heck is in this thing? It's like mint, but it's like liquid. What the heck? It still kind of tastes like pencil, though. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna backtrack real quick because I totally missed something super obvious. Chris Lambert, the featured artist, is the creator of Scrawler Box. So the entire premise of this box is pretty much what Chris Lambert did when he made Scrawler Box. Keep scrawling, quote unquote, is his thing. So I decided to do what the book suggested, saying, don't think about the final outcome before you start, just start drawing and see how the doodle develops. I'm not really big on that. I don't doodle. Usually when I draw, I have some kind of plan or at least some kind of subject matter in mind. So. This started off kind of fun. I don't do patterns at all. I was never one of those kids who doodled on their notebooks or their worksheets. I always drew like furry characters or Neopets or Pokemon. I never did patterns. So it was really out of my comfort zone. It started off okay, but you might start noticing that I got really bored. I did not want to draw patterns. I did not want to draw paisleys. I didn't want to do this and it started to become pretty apparent by how messy it was that I was bored. 
but I decided that I was going to follow the spirit of this scroller box and just keep scrolling. I was going to keep drawing, just throw shapes and lines on the paper and just see what happened and not care too much about the final result. Which, as you can imagine, is very hard for me to do because, like I said, if I don't have a clear plan in mind, then I'm going to hate it. I'm not going to know what to do. But I still had faith. I had a feeling that once I started inking it, it was going to be a lot better. At least that was the plan, anyway. Got the fine liner and I went to start inking it and I realized that an O3 would take forever to line this whole freaking thing. It was nice at first, but I'll be honest, after I got past like the first shape, my hand was cramping up, I was bored, I was getting frustrated. I really just wanted to throw this pen out the window and grab like a thick brush pen and get some thick lines, but ugh, first scrawler box, I don't want to fail yet. I want to use everything that came in this box, no matter how annoying it is. O3, man, I, I don't know how he managed to get such detailed lines with an O3. It was just so thin. I didn't finish the line art. I went ahead and erased the graphite just to kind of give me a clean slate. And I was going to go in and try to thicken up the lines with the pen, but I mean, this is only a, like a couple minutes for you guys, but I must have spent over an hour on this just trying to get the lines to look okay. And I was so done by now. I didn't even want to color it. I was so done. I hope the next scroller box is better. It is. I already know because I have the next one. I haven't done it yet, but I have it. Another thing the scroller tip said is, quote unquote, have you tried taking a pencil for a walk across the page? Start with a blank piece of paper and a pencil and just close your eyes and then draw. Try not to think too much. Open your eyes and see what you've drawn. You don't have to use all of it, but pick some interesting shapes from this and start turning them into something else. Anyway, line art done. It was awful. I hate it. It's so scribbly. I decided if, you know, if it's gonna look messy, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna keep it scribbly and we're just gonna deal with it. I'm gonna call it a, uh, an artistic choice. Not that I was tired and bored. You all believe me, right? I swatched out the colors and they look pretty good. You can actually kind of blend them a little bit. The blue and green did blend a bit. And again, marveling at the fact that the paper is bleed proof, just incredible. And I'm never buying this paper because yeah, you saw that right, $47. But it's not an American company, it has to come from overseas, so yeah, that's fine, whatever. I didn't have a plan for how I wanted to color this, I just took the gray and just went at it. Again, no vision, just throwing pen to paper. Spirit of scrawler box, I suppose, just see what happens. Take your marker to the page and let it go for a walk and see where the colors go. God, if you're still watching this video, I am. Uh, you guys are a true fan because I'm bored just watching this. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm the one who did it, so I have all this. I have all this bad feelings still kind of pent up inside, even though it's been over a month since I did this. I gotta say though, those Tombow alcohol breakers are pretty sweet. I'll always love my Copics, but they're they're not so bad. I see them a lot on Instagram, the water-based ones. Uh, they they love using those in like journaling and stuff, but I don't see a lot of them using alcohol markers. Which is too bad because I like the brush tip. It was super firm. It didn't bend too bad, didn't bleed. It was good. And the color choices were nice too. I liked how it was, uh, you got the dark blue and then the gray kind of offsets it. These are the scrawler box colors, so I guess that, that's pretty fitting. I sent this challenge over to the Discord server and Michelle took it up as well with her own supplies and made this really cool paisley whale. Way better than my paisley. So Michelle, awesome job. I love it. You should be proud of yourself. You did a better job than I did. You actually made a character out of paisleys, which is super awesome. Oh my god, we're done. Okay, the stupid paisleys are done. Done, 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 done. In the trash can. After, after the video is done. In the trash can. I'm not done yet. That was awful. I hate it. Let's do something that I want to do. Let's draw a character. Not a specific character, just anything. Of course, you guys, if you're new to this channel and you're just now watching me, I don't consider myself a furry personally. I don't have a fursona, but I love the furry community. I love making furry characters. It's just what I've always done. 
So if you don't like that, you can leave right now, because I promise you this will not be the last one you see on this channel. I decided to just draw a dragon character. Just I was kind of inspired by Paisley. You know, Paisley is really big on you know on fashion. It's a pattern that you see a lot on on textiles. Wow, there's a word textiles. What the heck am I saying? And the paisley kind of reminds me of a flower. So I decided to draw a dragon. She's going to wear a dress. And I'm going to put some paisleys on it. And she's holding a big bouquet of flowers. Not a specific flower. Maybe roses. I don't know. I don't really draw flowers. So I just kind of made them look like cartoony flowers where you can look at it and say, Oh, okay, I know what that is. That's a flower. And that's good enough for me. It's weird, guys, showing you my drawing process. I decided not to fast forward through the whole thing this time. A few of you have said you wanted to see the process, and I'm throwing a few clips in there for you. It's weird. It's also weird that I have to draw on paper this time and not on the computer. I love drawing with my tablet and then tracing with my light box, but... Uh, I guess that that's kind of cheating, you know, and especially on this paper. So we have our dragon girl. I want to go ahead and destroy her with my needed eraser. Don't worry. You guys can't see her anymore, but at the time, I can still see her pretty well. Oh, we gotta play with the eraser. Very crucial part of the process. Now we're gonna take that fine liner and we're gonna give her some line art. I already felt a lot better using the fine liner on this drawing than the other one, just because I grew up using fine liners on my drawings, and it just makes more sense to me. I don't know why, I think I made the patterns just too big on my paisleys, because it was just too much. If I made a smaller pattern, it would have been a lot better. But I'm not going to go back and redo it. I did it once and I'm done. I also try to keep the spirit of this particular scrawler box alive by not caring too much about if I made mistakes or not. So if her eye is a little too far up, okay. If her hair is a little chunky, okay. If I mess up some line art, okay. Keep scrolling, right? Just keep on drawing, keep doodling. So I decided to just throw caution to the wind and just screw it, man. Let's just draw. Except I want to draw what I want. I'm not drawing stupid paisleys. God, it sucked. I'm still mad about it thinking about it. <laughs> While inking, though, I was trying to think of how I can incorporate paisleys a little bit more into this drawing, though. I mean, she's going to have paisleys on the bottom of her dress, and she's wearing flowers, or she's holding flowers, but it's not really paisley. I still don't think I got that. I think I tried to incorporate, like, her hair is all flowy, and that has to do with, like, a paisley, maybe, and paisleys are kind of inspired by nature, so she has the flowers, and I don't really know why I'm trying to justify it. I've had this drawing done for a month and a half. I mean, what am I gonna do? Go back and redo it? No. All right, so let's take some color. I didn't really have a clear vision of what color I wanted her to be. I just kind of started throwing some stuff down. I was hoping that the markers would layer okay so that I can get some shadows because I guess I could have put the blue over the gray to shade as I did on some other drawings I've done. But at the time I did this, I wasn't too privy to doing that yet. So I was a little more inexperienced, which is okay. Fortunately, the gray did layer pretty well. I was able to get some different tones out of layering it more than once. So I was able to get some shadows. Not too great of a shadow, but man, you know, that's an art challenge. You know, you can't be perfect. When you're only limited with your supplies, you can only do so much. You can't be, you know, it can't be an amazing print-worthy, sticker-worthy illustration every time, right? To quote-unquote the scrawler tips in the scrawler zine once more, quote-unquote, most important is to have fun. The great thing about doodling is it doesn't have to look like anything and no one else knows what it should or shouldn't be. Just enjoy the process and see what your subconscious pushes out through the pen onto the paper. Keep your own personality and style and your doodle journey will be complete. Well that, that was deep. That was pretty deep for drawing a furry. Or a scaly, I guess. I don't know. What do you guys call these? You call them furries or scalies? If it's a dragon, is it a furry? She does. She's not really furry. I guess she's a scaly. I don't know. Again, I don't really consider myself a furry. I just love furries in the community. They're such nice people, man. 
I love everybody who's a furry. Yes, I know. They get such a bad reputation on the internet for some reason. People get so mean to them. I don't understand why. They don't do anything wrong. I guess people just want to pick on people, you know? I decided to tattoo, quote unquote, some paisleys on her wings to just kind of give her it a bit more interest and say, hey look, I tried doing paisleys. They don't really look like paisleys though. Bit of white pen to add some accents. Yes, it did not come with the box, but I don't care. I have to add white to this drawing or it just looks super flat. I think this doesn't count. I think you should always have some kind of white gel pen or white paint pen nearby, no matter what drawing you're doing. It's a given. And we're almost done. Just adding a little bit of detail to the dress, a little bit of white colored pencil for some softer highlights. And man, I don't have nothing else to say about this, guys. This was a, this was a fun scrawler box. I mean, the prompt wasn't that fun. Oh yeah, I put paisleys in the background. Because you know me, I'm the queen of over-rendering. I never know when to stop. This was a fun box. I liked it a lot. It's my very first Scrawler box. I was super excited to do it. I'm absolutely going to keep getting them because it was a lot of fun. It really took me out of my comfort zone. I hated it, but it was fun. And I got some cool markers out of it too. And I'm probably gonna use them again. Let me know which drawing is your favorite, guys. I obviously like the character, the girl, more. I already have bought more Blackwing pencils because I love them so much. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys on the next video.